How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope you enjoyed your time off. I'm getting another car today. Didn't really plan it, but I want to take you guys along for the journey. So let's hop in the mini truck, head down to the shop, and it should be getting delivered very shortly. Well guys, I am back at the shop. You have not seen this car yet, but don't worry, a video will be coming soon. I've got to pull my R129 out, get the tires filled up, because they're getting a little low. I gotta figure out what's going on with them, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that now while we wait on the car to arrive. I'm all filled up, but you can obviously see this valve stem here is damaged. In fact, the entire tire is damaged. But it's the only one that even has any sort of wear. From what I understand, I got the information from a guy who only used them in a car show. And my guess is when they were taking off the trailer or pulling it forward, they had the, the car slammed because it was a bagged car they had these on. Because if you look at here, I mean, the tread is perfect. I know these are dirty, but these tires are pretty much brand new. So hopefully we're just getting some slow leaks from the valve stems. One other thing, as I went to start this, the battery was so dead. This thing here has been a lifesaver, man. This Hulk, man. A lot of people send me out stuff to try out. I try it out. I like it. This one here is an amazing device. I mean, it has saved me quite a few times. Anytime I got to jump start any of these cars, it starts it up and I probably charge it one time out of every 30 or so times I've got to jump a car. So let's go ahead and I'm going to fill up these other two tires on this side. We'll pull it back forward. Hopefully the car will be here very soon. And yes, you guys will get to see this on another video coming soon. So it got a little later than I expected, but here she is, guys. I'm definitely going to have to record some of this in the daylight for you guys. Well, guys, it's obviously a new day and the first time I get to take a look at this car in the daylight with you. And what it is is a 1991 Mercedes 500 SL, similar to what I have over there, which is a 91 500 SL, but uniquely has a lot of different stuff on the inside. And I'm going to show you that and I cannot wait to hear in the comments what you guys have to say. But my guess is it's a different production time frame. So it's probably produced earlier or later than that one over there. And we'll take a look at the date code on this. And I'll go over there and take a look at the date code on mine. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. So the car itself does start. It does run. But it does have a lot of issues. Um, apparently, the gentleman that picked up this car got it from a friend. We're having an issue with the title right now, so I got a really good deal on it, and my goal is to revive it. So what he was able to do uh, was adjust the idle on it so that we were able to pull it back here. So I didn't get a whole lot of info, but like I said, he's not very knowledgeable on Mercedes, so all he did was do his best to be able to make the car movable. And so we're probably gonna have to reverse what he did and actually repair the issue. ASR light is on causing the main issue that we have which has to do with idle it's stalling when you hit it gas so there could be a multitude of things uh, cap and rotor might need to be replaced obviously spark plugs will have to go through so with all that out of the way let's go ahead and jump in the car take a look at everything and like I said our plan is to revive this car and then possibly sell it to fund some of the projects that I have going on I would love to keep it I would love to keep all these cars but I do want to see this car live on and that is the ultimate goal Worst case scenario, if we can't get the title at all, we can't get it revived. Um, I don't wanna do this, but I would part it out because I do need some parts for my car, but they're not as necessary as this, the value of this car as a whole. So that will be the ultimate goal. Now, like I said, I love this color scheme. I love the white, I love the two-tone and this tan interior, there's just something about it I absolutely love. And if we did have to part it out, I would probably swap this interior into my car because I think it would look really good. I know most of you guys out there love the black on black, but there's just something about a combination of black and tan that I just really, really love. And if you look at the interior of this car, you can see, obviously, it hasn't been well taken care of recently, but I'm guessing in the past this car was loved, well taken care of. And if we look, it's 93,000 miles, guys. So under 100,000 miles. So there's value right there in this car. This car has a lot of life left in it. And I know that because my car has 140 and it's still very strong. These motors can go for a while. These transmissions can go forever. And if we look in here, we'll just keep coming through. You can see obviously it needs to be cleaned up. The wood on this is in pretty good shape. Mine was completely destroyed um, in the Florida sun. It just happens. 
and that door panel looks pretty good the wood on that one unfortunately this one is peeling up but that can be replaced fairly inexpensively uh, or you can replace just that wood piece do a different type of trim on there looks like the floor mats are over there seats seem to be in okay condition with some wear here that's a little unfortunate but i think the passenger seat oh no there is some wear on that one too where it's starting to break up that's just the florida sun doing its job if we look back here the top actually has uh the vinyl piece here but it is coming down i think that can be re-glued let's look at the mirrors these things always seem to dry rot and break it's a little dry rotted, but they're in place which is better than what mine are right now and like i said i just love the way this tan interior looks i love uh, when somebody swaps it and has kind of the tan and black combo and that was my goal over there i did pick up some seats and we'll discuss that in a further video on our wide body i was saying earlier that i felt like it was a lot different than my 91 but maybe just the two-tone threw me off and it's been a while since i've looked at my ac controls and i thought this is a lot different i just double checked over there and it is pretty much identical on the inside minus the fact that this is two-tone mine's black and black which might have made it just look a lot different but to confirm this is a very early production it's 191 uh mine is 391 so not much further after two months after and this is kind of unique here where they've got an updated airbag, it looks like, in 3 of 2001. So we'll probably find out a lot of unique things about this car. I'm not going to go through it now and pull everything out, but we might find manuals. We might find uh, history reports on it. And you can see the hard top. Now, obviously, we'd have to pull that off to access and look at the soft top and see what that's like. We open up our trunk here. Once again, just very dirty. We have a lot of things to take out of this and that's gonna be the next video on this. Paint and body seem to be okay. The paint obviously needs to be probably redone, but it could be polished up and look good enough. So I did end up doing a Carfax and this car has a clean history. So no accidents that were ever reported and it doesn't seem like it was ever in an accident. Everything looks pretty original on it. And so you got the gray bumpers front bumper like most of them does have damage down below but nothing crazy that could probably be all repaired and very very straight body i mean unbelievable there's like no dings or dents just really needs to be cleaned unfortunate uh, clear coat peeling on it and let's go ahead and pop the hood so we can take a look at the engine which i did take a look at last night and seemed to be okay and intact and most things seem to work. The windows work, the seats worked. There's a very dead battery in here, but we were able to get everything started up. I was able to test most of the electronics and everything seemed pretty good. Uh, oil looked pretty decent, obviously needs to be changed out, but at least it's up to level and it looked pretty good. Nothing out of the norm there. Coolant looked good and smelled good. So that's always a positive sign. It's got coolant down in there. Everything smelled fine, no foaminess to it. So it kind of got out of the way any of the major concerns. Now, you can see he was trying to figure out that ASR at one point, and he probably just looked at it and gave up. Um, I'll have to figure out what he did to set the idle high, but I'm guessing he just adjusted the cable or something like that. Um, but he's told me anything I need to know, I can get a hold of him. And he, like I said, he's going to help us try to get that title. So that's about it, guys. The new car kind of to the channel. It probably will be a few videos out before we do anything to it. I do have a few projects like that Porsche that you guys kind of quickly saw that need to be moved on very quickly. That'll be explained and updated in probably the next video coming out. And then I'll be jumping right onto that wide body and trying to get that completely finished off so we can move on to more things with that. So once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're gonna enjoy a series on trying to restore and get this thing back on the road and hopefully get this back into the hands of somebody who's gonna love and care for it as much as the person who bought this new. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.